Don't touch that dial. It's 
sweat when we're working out, but when we're close, uh-uh. Cute or not, if he smells, it's over. Get a little closer with Arid, the anti-odor antiperspirant that helps keep you extra, extra dry. I trust Arid. I think I found something! Ow! Oh my God, we buried Andy! How are you? Not good. Premieres August 26th at 10 p.m. here at Comedy Central. So, Mike, who won our little political debate? No, no, my friend. As long as we've furthered an understanding of vital issues, then the real winner is the American public. Yeah, so in other words, I won. You scallywag, you rake, you nattering nabob and naysayer, you mugwump, you <laughs> dare sting me with your solo ding-dong? Huh? <laughs> Nelson, a whole lot of work going on around here. Yeah, we got a tuck point that whole section up there. That wall there? Whoa, holy cats, that's a project in itself. So, uh, you fellas better get busy too. You got a whole lot of work to do and fixing up things and whatnot. So, uh, we'll meet you down to the mermaid later, huh? <sighs> hey, Frank. What do you think of this wall here? Uh, you can take her out or leave her in, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna run you about the same, just the same. Uh, I wanna take some green-treated lumber and toenail her in, I suppose. Aw, oh, hell, I would. Long run, you're gonna be glad you did. Well, you know, guys, as long as I got this board here, it'd be a Whoa. good time to Whoa. teach you the, uh, the classic, ah, teach you the classic ah, board gag, all right? Be careful there, Mike. Oh, no, it'll be fine. It's oh, the old gag where you're over there. What's that, Servo? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh Crow, did I get you too? Oh, 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 I'm real sorry about that. I mean, oh, 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 you gotta admit, it's pretty funny. Oh, Deb make you that? Uh, yeah, right, like I could ever get her to do that. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, that Deb is fine. What's that supposed to mean, man? Nothing, I'm just saying, you know, Deb is, you know... Deb is private stock, Deb. Okay, okay. Uh, Nelson, uh, your movie this week? San Francisco International. Oh, yeah, San Francisco International Airport. I sheetrock that place, man. Nice guys out there. Huh? Real regular guys. Well, back at it. I, I see a light, Mike. I'm I'm going down a hallway and I, I see a light. Uh, uh, is that you walking with me, Jesus? Uh, oh, where is the board? Please don't hit me with the board again, Sorry, mister. I didn't know oh, no, we got moving oh, stuff. for mountain-sized meteor parts. <laughs> okay, big friggin' deal. Hi, I'm Snuggles the Bear, down here. Yeah. Ooh, San Francisco International Airport, where the big B actors roar. Gee, I wonder if Purnell's gonna be older than his dad in this show. <laughs> Gulliger? Not Gallagher? What sort of name is Gulliger? Our in flight movie, Tearless. <laughs> what I am is what I am is what I Shut am up. is what Shut I up, Harris. am. Filmed in panel vision. Uh, gentlemen, I'm Fernell Roberts. Captain tells me the uh, faulty landing gear warning light is on. Hmm? Therefore, we will have to take certain precautions. Who are you? Exactly what does that mean, Jim? Where's my that train? What the warning light means we have to figure on the possibility of the landing gear collapsing at touchdown. Now, little Joe and I will try to rope the plane, but... San Francisco Tower, this is Charter 447. We're having hydraulic problems. We crest straight in approach. I've got him. Roger 447, cleared for straight in approach, runway 1 right. Wind 280 at 1-9er. Roger 447. And thank you, Token. Stand by. We have an alert to emergency in progress. Convert 990 charter on final landing runway one right. All right, move. Did you ever see Clue Gulliger and Yvonne Gulagong with the Groovy Ghoulies in the Gulag Archipelago? Yes, I did. This is alarming. Man 
Nancy Malone. I'm Ziggy Stardust. Should the airport have a volunteer fire department? I don't know. Oh, my ad noise. My shipment of face cream is on that jet. Land on us, we'll cushion your fall. David Hartman. David Hartman, your guaranteed TV movie seal. <laughs> Airport survey flight from the Senate committee aboard. Quiet. The Senate committee, a couple of congressmen. Nah, let him crash. Well, all my people at the airport have been alerted. They'll take every precaution. Now I suggest that we let this young lady uh, instruct us on emergency procedures. Which never worked. Please but raise your seat back to vertical. Remove all sharp objects from your pockets. Make certain your seat belts are pulled snug. Pull the pillow over your face and bend your face down onto your knees. Press until you no longer move. Now for some plain aerobics. Yeah, with these guys, I'll bet the seatbelts are already snug. <laughs> hey, chubby. Well, now your 747s, and when they go down, they leave kind of a spray pattern. Ooh. Didn't uh, Werner Herzog direct stay check? You know, Tab Hunter was Troy Donahue at one point. Beach Bonanza Hole, where you are in the taxiway. We have an emergency. There's a gray slick on the runway. <laughs> I'm sorry about the stamps. <laughs> Senator Dumbo was killed today. Some people in first class get to cushion themselves with people in coach. Does this every time he lands? That's to make a big production out of everything. Jeez, they've whipped themselves into a state of mild concern. Oh. <laughs> you cut the tension with a dull object. Okay, get him! Crash into him if you have to! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, uh, uh, once more, around the horn! Right. Mommy! Does this happen? Uncle Tanoos! <laughs> uh, I believe I had the right of way. Jeez! <laughs> Oh, no one can survive it. This is too horrible for words. God, there are credits all over the runway. So where's George Kennedy in all of this? Lawrence of San Francisco. Lawrence. Is this any way to run a TV movie? You bet it is. <laughs> Terror at the sea level. Really prompt luggage crew. Eager. Oh no! Your hairpiece is stuck in the door! Jeez, pass if you're gonna. Okay, I think we can shake him if we turn this corner here. Yeah. Couldn't you just crash a little bit? Come on! Oh, where are the charred remains? Gee, anybody hurt? <laughs> I hope I'm dead because my pants are full. Can we see the end of six pack uh, now? May I have your attention for a moment? The best way to get stains out what of your I underwear just put is you through was a simulation. Well, kill him! Kill him! Get get him. A standard emergency procedures test that we do with the tower every month. There was no real emergency. Had it been real, I wouldn't have done Trapper John. Some of us. Might not be here now. Let go of my hand. And the number of real emergencies in the future is up to you, gentlemen. Hmm. <laughs> Run! Vote on the appropriations no. that the airport commission is asking for. Remember what it was 
like up there a little while ago. So give to the Will Rogers Institute. That's Tell the captain we can head back now. Uh, I don't really love you. I mean, we all said things we didn't mean. I, I don't expect you to marry me. Geez, they overbooked the credits. If you listen closely, you can hear the guys beating the crap out of Cornell Roberts. Some girl. I just got a message. Uh, all of your mothers died. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> huh. Well, I think this is the restored second unit director's cut. <laughs> that neck brace. <laughs> uh, hold the pickles, hold the lettuce, special deplaning orders, donut. Oh, no, really, ma'am, I gotta get off fast. I think they're pretty mad at me. I've never spanked a member of the Ponderosa. This little demonstration <laughs> your idea, Jim? It was. All right, you've made your point. Oh, a little more melodramatically than was necessary, I think. Okay, Senator Stinky Pants. Ladies and gentlemen, the parents of the Beatles! Evans, I want to talk. I'm so sorry, Senator. Please get in the car. I, I Clown I'll take care of <laughs> Yes, sir. Will you sit on the jump seat in the front? Oh, well, back to your piddling Congress. I work for an airport. I'm sorry, Senator. Please Can I sit on your lap, Jim? Now I'm going to play tricks on the Trilateral Commission. The distinguished senator from California, please scooch over. Pony, aren't you? You're watching Mystery Science Theater 3000 at Comedy Central. Had to see a classic episode of Saturday Night Live. Frankly, I think the sun worship thing is vastly overrated. So what about some frozen daiquiris? Fine. How long does it take to make a frozen drink? Is it ready yet? About two minutes short of eternity. Is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? That's why we invented tropical freezes. Daiquiris, margaritas, and punches with the alcohol already in them. You just freeze them and serve. Is it ready yet? What were you doing in there? Tropical freezes. It's already ready already. Mr. Sampras, you know why you're here, don't you? You're kind of dull. We'll fix that. Let's see. You go up to the umpire. You say, you were wrong. You were wrong. Squat a few balls, throw a few rackets. The ball was in. The ball was in. I'm incompetent. Yell at me. Say the motto. Or two. And eat your pizza the wrong way. Crust first. Why didn't you say so? Stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut. With a zesty new sauce and cheese baked into a new thinner crust, you'll want to eat it crust first. Two at once. I've created a monster. Large, just $9.99. The guy is a myth, man, a myth. No one saw his face. It was as if the lights dimmed just for him. No one knew his name. I know who you are. I'm a sinner. They thought he didn't exist. Well, they were wrong. Let's play. Antonio Banderas. Desperado, rated R, at theaters August 25th. I think I found something! Ow! Oh my god, we buried Andy! How are you? Not good. Premieres August 26th at 10 p.m. here at Comedy Central. If this thing is broken, man, we're totally screwed. What? We're really screwed. I no, don't think it's... No, it's fine. No, it's fine. What's that set? What's this elf destruct? There's no elves on the... There are smiles galore down here. Set sail with Exit 57. Paul, a Leo, but one cat who's not scared to get wet. Steven, on deck he's first mate. Below deck he's first rate. Jody and Amy, inseparable, insatiable. Captain Mitch, climb aboard his vessel for the ride of your life. Five souls lost at sea. Exit 57, exclusively at Comedy Central. You pump, I'll pay. You want a bagel, dog? Excitement's over. It ought to be a fairly routine day, except for that Federal Reserve shipment coming in. It's an all-cargo shipment, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I see you're ready for it anyway. Well, we rented a truck. How much money in that shipment? I don't know. I don't remember exactly. Something 
tab A into B movie. Oh, he's punching out of the movie. I just got to get to his Lust of the Dusk audition. Oh, Van Johnson didn't stack my locker. He's got a poster of Jeffrey Hunter in there. <laughs> Davey? The Luftwaffe called. Davey? I love this windbreaker so much. I love you, windbreaker. Do you love me? Yeah. You're not still packing, are you? No. I was just looking for this. Why did I marry him? Um, we've got to get started. Mom. Why is the music so poignant? I don't want to go. You know what I mean. Yes, I know what you mean. But they need you in Vietnam. Oh, she's wearing appliance green. I'll explain it to you again. Um, You're a loser, and we're sending you away. It's just that sometimes married people... Break up because of their kids. Simply have to live apart for a while. Apart from their kids, I mean. They're going to get a divorce. Yes, and I don't want custody. That hasn't been decided. Although, because of you, it's very likely. Do we have to go now? You have to go now. Look, we've been through this before. Come on, hurry up. David Hartman was really young in this movie. Mm. Come on, kid. Get your act together. Just read Catcher in the Rye and deal with it. Well, there'll always be Battlestar Galactica. That'll never be canceled. Captain Howdy will show me the way. I'll miss my neo-Renaissance lifestyle. Bad by Whitbreaker. Followed by Major Nelson. Boy, I'm really feeling my tab today. Tab hunter, hunting down people who don't pay their tabs. <laughs> Boy, that makes me yearn for a $5 hot dog, huh? Mm -hmm. Think he's tab hunting even as we speak. Hey, you know what? I'll pick up that tab. I'd like to run a tab all over my body. <laughs> hey, what do you say we split that tab? <laughs> It's tab time. Heavy fog's coming in from off the coast. The city will probably get it heavy. Oh, I love it. It'll stay clear here. Yeah, we're going to get an awful lot of airplanes in a little while. It's going to be a busy shift. Yeah, well, you just get them in. I'll try to find some place to put them. They could stay at my house. me like that. Oh, good morning, America. I made for TV love you. Have a good trip. Hmm. Wait a minute. You married David Hartman. Whoa, no. bye bye. What did I do with my career? Bartholomew Cubbins. Dig me. I'd like to see you right away. What's up? I don't know, but Jenny says he is raving. Maybe got the commissioners to fire me. What did you do? My job, my way. My Atlanta. Listen, if I'm out of work, I'll have time to propose. And I'll have time to think it over. Carefully. You'll say yes. Jenny said you wanted to see me. One, two, and turn. And turn. Get and one thing very straight, you will have. And that is? It's very simply this. If you ever pull another stunt like the one you pulled this morning, you're going to be finished. And if you ever get involved with him in something like that again, you're going to be through, too. Look, Evans, I represent the sheriff of San Mateo County on these premises, right? Now, if Jim Conrad here, or you, or anybody else breaks the law of that county, or this state, I'll move. Otherwise, Jim runs the airport, and I run the security division. Mm -hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, it's going to stay that way. You're 
into deep TV movie now. Mm -hmm. Airport movies are like the watering holes of now B movie right. actors. Mm -hmm. You said it. First of all, Bob had nothing to do with what I did out there this morning, so get off his back. Now, oh. second, somebody better do something and fast, or we'll all be finished. Because this airport will be an antique nobody will dare use. I'm aware of this facility's needs. What about my needs? I also know there's a right way to do things. And Conrad's way. Well, now, I am supposed to keep those runways open and all the traffic on them moving. We've got to close and the as beaches. the representative of the airport commission, you're supposed to see that I have whatever I need to do it. Now, maybe you better start planning some stunts of your own if you don't like mine. You can try to justify this morning's escapade all you want to, Jim. The fact is that Senator Whitman didn't like it. He Same. didn't like it at all. <laughs> and? And as the expression goes, you've made your bed, you're going to have to lie in it. Alone, unless I miss my guess. Well, you didn't come to me when you decided to teach that plane load of VIPs a lesson. Don't expect me to bail you out now that they're going to come after you. You know something, Cliff? Rolos are my favorite candy. I really wasn't counting on you anyway. So eat my dimples, okay? Wow, that's great. Oh, yeah, well, I've had 17. I don't feel a thing. Airport Martel. Room 212, please. Thank you. Well, Silky Sullivan in the fifth. Hello? Are you there yet? Yes, I'm here. I answered the phone. Yeah. Jeez, aggressive stewardess recruiting. So convenient to have a hostage in right near the airport. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. It'll be on time. What about Edwards? Edwards? He's in the coffee shop. I'll call you back as soon as he leaves. He's eating a big bear claw. Could take a while. No. Uh -uh. No way. Servo, I am telling you, wake me up before you go. Go is about the Vietnam War. Would you look at oh, side two? Please, side the song is three. clearly about Bangladesh. Hey guys, oh, even guys, check it out. I'm Urkel. <laughs> <laughs> it's Urkel. It's Urkel. <laughs> it's a great Urkel. Oh, God, it's hilarious. <laughs> Gypsy, come in here. You gotta see this. <laughs> oh, Urkel. That is delightful. Frank, whatever it's... <laughs> Not Urkel. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, Jan in the van. Urkel. <laughs> What's everybody laughing at? It's not that funny. It's really not that funny. Now cut it out. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> Olympic Games, you don't have to swim, throw, run, flip, or slam. All you gotta do is walk to Mickey D's. Buy a
double Big Mac or a double quarter pounder with cheese for 79 cents more than the famous originals. Pull the tab and bam, you could win one of 100 trips to the 1996 Olympic Games, a pair of Reebok athletic shoes, or thousands of other great prizes. And everybody gets at least $5 off Reebok shoes. So get to Mickey D's. Have you had your break today? There's no rules. Whatever you can find or scrounge up, race it. You can put things in the wheels, you can have water balloons. So unsportsmanlike conduct is encouraged, I think. Encouraged and well appreciated amongst all the other races. Oh, tight. oh, oh it's a crash! I'd have to say I'd consider soapbox racing most like Twister. You just gotta bend yourself all around. That's like a safety routine right there. That's like a, a safety check. If you get dumped at 40 miles per hour, they'll keep the skin on your legs. I had to abandon ship. The first sport I tried was boxing. I wasn't very good. Then I decided to try baseball. Couldn't catch fly balls, couldn't do anything. They kind of cut me from the team. Do anything. I hated that too. Jamal, my dad, finally said, don't be discouraged. You just got to find something you're good at. And I had to find my niche, I think. Hey, Dad, I think I found it. Worked out pretty well. <laughs> My skin looks so gross. It was like a war had broken out around my pores. <laughs> Could it get any worse? <laughs> Stop this! I needed ammo. Daily face wash from Clearasil doesn't just help get rid of germs. It wipes out more oil and dirt from around pores than leaving regular cleansers. It worked. My skin looked great. Now the only battle I have to win is Stephanie's heart. Clearasil daily face wash. Clean skin leads to clear skin. <laughs> Take it easy. All you've got to do is eat your husband on that line. Ask him if his refrigerator's running. <laughs> okay. I can handle three more arrivals between now and two o'clock. That's the best I can do. Oh, thanks. You saved my neck. Well, not yet he hasn't. You're still going to have one plane more than you got gates. I'll trade you one arrival for two departures. Heaven help you to get behind on your departures. Featuring state-of-the-art technology. <laughs> Extending up into the entire northern end of the state. They're diverting everything down here. No, I'm not the boy who's upset about the divorce. <laughs> well, anyway, may I take your pledge? May I please speak to Captain Ross Edwards? This is his wife. Just a second. I don't know that he's still here. I admit it's a convoluted way of saying please, it. Please, it's urgent. I wouldn't know that he didn't say that he might not be here Captain still. Edwards. You, your wife on 712. Thank oh, it's you. great being David Hartman. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Joan? Tisk, Tisk, Lucas Tanner. <laughs> Edwards, we've got your wife. Do you ever want to see her alive again? Well, I can barely hear you. You want to call back? And as far as anyone in that room is concerned, it better think you're talking to her. You understand? Uh, leave me alone. You're suffocating me. Like that? Yeah, uh, Joan, I understand. I like it when you call me Joan. That's real good, fly boy. Well, no. So far, you're doing just fine. You just keep it up. He's Papa Smurf. <laughs> if you don't, we'll know about it. The pilot's union is tough. Now, here's what you're going to do. First, have a healthy breakfast. You're going to hang up that phone and hightail it out of that room just as fast as you can. <coughs> hello, hello. Go down the main concourse to the men's room. Joe Orton will be there. Inside, there'll be a phone ringing. Don't whap with it. You'd better be the fellow who answers it. There's a bathroom with a phone? That's great. It's Purnell's elaborate trick to demonstrate the need for men's room phones. Just a pilot. I, I'm not used to pressure. Ordering my lunch my way. Ah, the alien! Sorry, boss. Is this considered hightailing? Yeah. Well, that's for me. I'll take it to the bathroom. His hair looks so natural. <laughs> Move aside. Bold one coming through. I wish this film was in color. I can't. I gotta rescue my wife. Delay five or ten minutes, let alone an hour. Not today. There's just too much traffic. No way. Let me get my day timer. Not if it means your wife's gonna be dead if you don't find a way. Look, I could if I would, but good luck. Oh, great, I have a cyst. <laughs> How do I know if 
if I do what you want, John will be all right. You got it all wrong, Flyboy. I'm even uglier than you. What you should be thinking about is... Joan London. What's going to happen to her if you don't delay that flight for one hour? Well, I think that's implied in what I asked. One I... hour. Not one second less, you understand? One hour. He needs more facial hair. Yeah, less face. <laughs> oh, I hate deadlines. Well, I gotta pop over to the Harry O set. All orange, all the time. Ugh. Can we use a pool? Do not invade with SWAT team there. <laughs> That's a brilliant touch. He wants me to polish the doorknob. <laughs> Well, I'm going to catch a shower. Don't go anywhere, all right? Wow. Ooh, so she would actually have to turn the knob to get out. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'd blood it and check it and see. <laughs> Poor lady. Your husband's going to find a way. Got it, Dandy Don. After all, what's an hour, huh? Fred Garvin, male prostitute. Hey, wait, 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 Make a left turn and proceed to Gateway 5. Here's our own lovely 747 sporting a whiteout with a singular fetching right stripe all the way down that lucky Yeah, 4721, across runway 28 right and hold for landing aircraft. Western 310, across the taxiway. Even the sky is brown in this movie. <laughs> that, that's the EPA's private jet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. Oh shoot, my face is still there. Just a jiggler, jiggler everywhere I go. Blah, 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 blah. That's why the savior is a tramp, yeah. Oh, that was a Trabian merd. <laughs> Here, take my purse. You know, she's got a nice Republican cloth coat. Sir, will you be checking all your family members? I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I want to check that story out with Conrad. It's called Heart of Darkness. Hey, why don't you go listen to the tower while your mother checks you in? You can hear the planes take off and land. Sure, Dad. Things suddenly got poignant. He's never forgiven me for burning his bra. I'll just take this on with me. Ah, getting divorced, huh? Well, hello. I just have to sashay across the airport. I'll be back. Bye. Mommy, look at that man's ears. Honey, shh. Look, mommy. When you need an ugly man for a small part. No, not ground transportation. One pill makes you larger. <laughs> Slug bug. Ow! Herbie. Okay to call the flight, Ross? Sure, call the flight, Ross. See what I care. Load's been computed. Weather's no problem yet. I'd like to get an on-time departure. Oh, I know I'm forgetting, uh... Oh, the kidnapping! Oh, the flight will be taking off on schedule. I'm going to turn it over to Spencer Christian now. Call 223, now boarding. This program is brought to you by new and improved Head and Shoulders. If you like Head and Shoulders better than any other dandruff shampoo, wait until you try new Head and Shoulders with Micro D. Fights flakes better without stripping your hair of essential oils. Turn dandruff problems into great looking hair with new head and shoulders.
Combat. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, midnight screening tonight, select cities. From across the seas, Bex, the number one imported German beer. It's new, it's weird, it stinks! Yes, everybody's playing new stink and stare from Mark's Root Beer. The 3D game that stinks when you scratch it and turns 3D when you stare at it. Free inside specially marked 12 packs of Mark's Root Beer, the one with bite. Scratch and sniff some musty old bones and you might see a 3D skull. Cool. Stare at a 3D cow and smell the freshly cut hay. <sighs> Keep staring because you could win $10,000! <laughs> So pick up Barks today and play Stink and Stare. It'll change the way you look at root beer. Hey, you there. We'd like to hand you this envelope with information about special Macintosh pricing for college students. But the laws of physics prevent us from doing so. Call 1-800-272-7070 and we'll send it to you. Otherwise, this is as close as you're going to get. I think I found something! Ow! Oh my god, we buried Andy! How are you? Not good. Premieres August 26th at 10 p.m. here at Comedy Central. TV movie Mount Rushmore. What do you have? Perhaps blue ribbon. Three. Western 223, cleared for takeoff. Wow, it's an elaborate plan to get a drink. <laughs> Let's review our cast. Call it. Western 223, you've been cleared for takeoff. Uh, 223, request taxi back to the gate. Taxi? Taxi? Taxi. Roger 223, make a right turn at the next. Sorry guys, I, I forgot my thermos of gin. United 27, clear for takeoff. Yeah. Western 223, what's your problem? The, uh, oh, my face is large and troublesome. Wheel. Feels mushy. And uh, so does right, the co-pilot. real smart. Took up a lot of time. Now in a real emergency, a heavily loaded jet would get off the runway approximately right here. Wait a minute, 223 is returning to the terminal? What? Uh, that doesn't affect our drinking, does I better it? get down there, because if he wants to unload, I'm going to have to find him a gate. Yeah. Here, I'll finish this for uh, you. Don't rush, it'll be a while yet. Western Airlines Flight 223 is returning to the terminal. Because David Hartman thought it felt mushy. How will you make it on your own? Well, well, hey, somebody left a pie tin on the fence. <laughs> Perfectly good. I was hoping we wouldn't take off. Uh, honey, I met Bob Dole since we've separated. <laughs> I ate all the frozen glacia. I'll, uh, I'll just go see what's causing the delay. We'll be in the lounge. Fine. Some scotch is a good breakfast drink. Martin Milner, airline mechanic. You ever think of changing the oil? Well, David Hartman's a neck with face and eyes. Look at this, milfoil. <laughs> well, as far as I'm concerned, this gear is in perfect condition. Then you fly it. That nose wheel struts mushy. Well, all kinds of girl stuff in How there. How did you feel when you ran it onto the apron? Perfect. Well, if it hadn't, I'd been in there finding out why. Then stop mouthing off and start doing just that. Well, what time of the month is now, it? Now, wait a minute, Edwards. We got a problem. What are you buttoning into this for, Conrad? This is an airline matter. It's got nothing to do with airport business. Well, this airport is jammed up with planes, and I got no place to put them. That's airport business. And it's my business to make sure that anything I fly passengers in is 100% safe. <laughs> and I'm saying that nose wheel didn't feel right. Well, your chief mechanic doesn't agree with you. That's right. But the final responsibility is mine, not his. And that plane doesn't move until I know that nose wheel's safe for a landing. I understand that, Ross. Here are those rewrites. All right, if this flight isn't loading in 15 minutes, I'll have to have it towed out of here and over to the shops. Hope they can't.
kidnap your wife. We'll be back after this. By Menon. It's a miracle. A miracle. Virgin Mary in my face oil. Look at that. Just look at that. It's a miracle I didn't lose my sight in that eye. A quarter of an inch higher, and I would have. Mr. Wonder, why don't you have a seat over here? And if you like, I'll get a doctor down here to take a look at your eye. There's nothing for a doctor to do. It's a black eye. It's an eye of color. You have to live with it and try to explain how I got it. Why don't you do that? Why don't you tell me what happened? Well, I don't see how you can allow a young hippie type like that to go around punching people in an airline. Now, Mr. Woodruff, we don't allow hippies or anybody else to start fights at this airport. Except Jackson Brown. Now, if you just please tell me what happened. Well, actually, I fell against the coffee table again. Well, every Friday I go down and check my company's books in the Los Angeles branch. It's a dirty I habit, I know. I take the 12.40 commuter flight down there, and I usually manage to make it back in time for dinner. And MacGyver. All right. Well, today I arrived here at the terminal, and I, I had a few minutes to spare, so I, I went over to the candy counter to pick up a pack of diet gum. Well, I mean, for fatsos. My wife is after me to lose some weight. Anyway, I'm standing there waiting in the line. You know, there's always a little crowd there and right, so one cashier. And I'm waiting, and all of a sudden, this dirty-looking, long-haired creep with a guitar on his back Sean Phillips? shoulders his way right in front of me in the line. He couldn't wait his turn like the rest of us. Is that when the fight started? There wasn't any fight. Boy. I just told him he could go to the end of the line like any decent citizen would. Mm -hmm. What happened then? And he told me what I could do. Mostly character roles. I don't think I have to tell you what that was. It involved my bottom. And then he shoved me out of the way again. He paid the cashier and, and just took off, just like that. You know, Jesus was a hippie. Well, it didn't end there. Just as I was about to board my flight, I saw him sitting over there in the Delta Airlines waiting area, plucking that guitar of his, playing a guitar in an airlines terminal. Well, Singing Mr. Bojangles. So I walked up to him and I got him up on his feet and I was going to tell him exactly what I think of people like him, and and then he hit me. Right there. Right there. He knocked me down on the ground. My briefcase fell open, the papers went all over the place, and uh -huh. even broke my glasses. Look at that. Oh. And that's when the officer stepped in and brought you here. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. You're bald, aren't you? All right, Joe. Get the boy, please. Hey, were you in Carter country? You mean you're not going to keep him locked up? Oh, well, he's not locked up. He's in the room right there. Yeah, in the room. room over there. Yeah. I'm going to hear his side of it. Yeah, I'm ready. You can stay where you are if uh, you right keep quiet. Right. Now, let's meet our hippie. Name's William Sturdivant, age 22, occupation student. <laughs> oh, he's a made-for-TV hippie. Uh, like peace, man. Student? No thanks, man. Just had one. What are you studying? Guitar. You, uh... Know any Donovan? You don't know how to play that thing? Well, like there's Planet, you know, and, uh... And there's Planet. I know Yngwie Malmsteen. Uh, William? Yeah? What brought you to the airport, William? Bus, my friend. What else? I'm looking for jokes. I'm looking for some pot, though. You What's got any idea where I could... You mean where am I going? Yeah. Well, there's this, uh, music festival up in Westbridge, Virginia, and, uh... All right. Well, what happened between you and this man? <laughs> I don't know, man. He flipped out. Now, wait a minute. I do not flip out. My freak. Why you say that? Well, I was just sitting there when this... Suit? Cat? Dude? You're sitting there, right? Cool, you know? Mellow. Satisfying. Minding your own business. And all of a sudden, this dude's all over you. So, well, I mean, he's got to be flipped out, huh? Yeah. Well, didn't you expect some kind of trouble after what happened at the candy counter? I'm not following you, my friend. No way. You don't remember shoving him at the candy counter? Hitting him with a marathon bar? I don't know nothing about nothing about no candy counter. And that's the truth. That's the truth. Are you just going to sit there and let him lie to you like that? Is he lying, Mr. Woodruff? Of course he is. I told you what really happened. Ooh. What, are you going to believe me or someone like that? Why don't you just sit down, Mr. Woodruff? <laughs> sit down, please. Mr. Woodruff looks like a roll-on deodorant. Now, if you weren't shoving this man around at the candy counter about ten minutes ago, what were you doing? I was all hung up over in the other concourse. Uh, I believe I had Southeast good vibes. Pacific Airlines. Hung up? Uh, pardon my hipness. <laughs> well, see, I uh, bought this ticket two weeks ago to go to the music festival. And when I get here this morning, they tell me I can't get on the plane because something's wrong with whatever's always wrong with them. And the mushy that thing. They booked me into a Delta flight and to come over here. And so I came over here. <laughs> 
Does anybody want to get high? Oh, you got a dry mark board. Oh, boy. So the man's coming down high. I guess there's just no justice left in this country at all, huh? Meet the new boss. <laughs> I mean, when a hippie punk like this can go around punching people in the face and breaking their glasses and then get away with lying to the law about it. If he's lying, he's not going to get away with it. I'm a little nervous. But he's got as much right to be heard as you do. Now this hippie's straight out of Brigadoon. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, I see him. Keep my eyes Bob. off him. Southeast and Pacific does have an aircraft temporarily out of service. They've rebooked several passengers. William Sturdivant on to Delta's Flight 21. Huh? Mr. Sturdivant picked up his ticket at their counter on the North Concourse. When? Ten minutes ago. Huh? While you were at the candy counter in the South Concourse. Stuffing your face with diet gum. I think you can still make that Delta flight if you get moving. Gotcha. The answer, my friend, is blow it out your ass. <laughs> Woo! 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 Oh, hey, man. You're out of sight. I think I found something! Ow! Oh my god, we buried Andy! How are you? Not good. Premieres August 26th at 10 p.m. here at Comedy Central. fashionable copper rivets. Ah! My skin looks so gross. It was like a war had broken out around my pores. <laughs> Could it get any worse? <laughs> Stop this! I needed ammo. Daily face wash from Clearasil doesn't just help get rid of germs. It wipes out more oil and dirt from around pores than leaving regular cleansers. It worked. My skin looked great. Now the only battle I have to win is Stephanie's heart. Clearasil daily face wash. Clean skin leads to clear skin. Hi from Snapple. Jeff from Washington State writes, I can't find the kind of Snapple I like. I'm 13, so I can't go that far from my home. Okay, Jeff, don't move. Uh, we have a vending machine for a uh, You sure you want it right here? On Earth. Want to go to the 1996 Summer Olympic Games? You need drive. You need commitment. You need a break. So go to McDonald's. Play McDonald's Olympic Games giveaway. Buy the double burger you crave. A double Big Mac or double quarter pounder with cheese for just 79 cents more than the famous originals. And you could win one of 100 trips for two to the 1996 Olympic Games. You'll always get something. You could even get the break of a lifetime to go to the Olympic Games as a spectator. We're gonna adopt a little girl. And then the daddy had a camera too. Say cheese. How far will a killer go? I'm her parents. To take back his daughter. Jenny! And in a world more important than family. How far will a loving father go? We're all together. To protect his family. Oh, my father now. It's your dream home? I hate dream homes. The tie that binds. Rated R. Starts Friday, September 1st. Monkey bear, rooster, it's Urkel! <laughs> wait, 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 I got one for you, okay, ready? Ready? Hey, Laura, want some cheese?
my maypole. Not as much as you want to be the one man whose column can cure the sickness of an entire city. Or, or create a Cinderella overnight. Oh, that's good. Can I use that? That's what you want. That's what you really want. It isn't. You're wrong. Sure, my work is important to me. Yeah. And it's important to a lot of other people, too. Sometimes very important. I understand that. I really do. Hey, more Reba. But what I yes. can understand is why your work has to be your entire life. Why there's never any room left for Davy and me. I can't control when a story's breaking. Who's Davey? You don't get to the top in this business worrying about getting home at 5.30. The top? You're on the top, Lester. What about the top of me? You're not a cub reporter. I am not in you're this. You're not breaking in a new column. You don't have to beat every paper to every story. You're Lester Scott, the most important columnist in this city. Perhaps the most influential man in San Francisco. Because I care about what I do. I'm sleeping with Herb Cain. I wouldn't want you to be any other way. <laughs> rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub. Yeah, God. But do you have to? Do you have to cover every story? Do you have to make the rounds of all the bars and all the parties? You have to look like that. I mean, that. if something you... important happens, you'll hear about it. Everybody wants to tip Lester Scott to his latest scoop. Everybody wants to know you, to be your pal. And nobody doesn't like Sarah Lee. Don't you understand? So do Davy and I. I don't know this Davy. That isn't fair. You're asking me to choose. You and Davy are my work. Work wins. No, I'm not. Work doesn't pick and pick at me. I never have. I've got to get to my depression class. I just think that we're entitled to part of your time. Just enough so we can feel like... A natural woman. We're a family again. Nope, 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 not working. Sell it more. Perhaps if we had a child. Wow, Mom and Dad are really going at it. Huh? I think I saw some Israeli commandos. Aerial eroticism. <laughs> wow, they've got planes here. Ah, taking that one to the impound lot. This is Overseas National, 821. We are estimating San Francisco in 10 minutes. Roger, 821, you're number three to land. If I could only find some thread, I could... Holy Roger, cow! Wind 285 at 15. Roger, San Francisco. We'll call it the other marker. Overseas 821 clear. Listen to John Tower, 25 cents. <laughs> well, we're going my way. <laughs> Kid's gonna have black rings around his eyes. <laughs> Danelle Roberts is to this movie as Chad Everett is to Medical Center. <laughs> yes. By the hand of God! Oh. Hi. Well, you see, that's so interesting. Airplanes. Yep, I know what you mean. You know, you're really pretty lucky. You get to be around them all the time. Yeah, you're right. I am pretty lucky at that. No love in my life. You know what that one is? It's pretty new. <laughs> Check the oil, sure. sir. That's a 747. It's, uh, it's really groovy. Are you high? So smooth, you know. Oh, yeah, when I tuck up those wheels and go... You know a lot about planes. It's really something. Want to go see the vroom vrooms? Guess you're kind of disappointed your flight didn't take off, huh? No, I... I was really kind of glad. Harrison, blast Oh, really? I uh, kind of thought flying was your favorite pastime. Oh, I like to fly, absolutely, but, uh... This flight, you know, it's... I'm all messed up inside. Well, my mom and I are going away, and my dad isn't coming. You know what I mean. Oh, so your mom's available. I was kind of hoping that maybe they'd get back together, but, uh... Yeah, I see what you mean. Dave, are you familiar with reality? Well, I guess it's hopeless. My dad just doesn't get much time off from that paper he hits. Uh, I'm not wearing a toupee. Yeah, well... It's probably your fault. Sometimes these things kind of work themselves out. Not this one. Just have to kind of hope for the best. Maybe if you were out of the picture... I'll be seeing you. Gee, I hope there's a bell tower to where we're moving to. Meanwhile, on the Buffalo Bill set... She gets too hungry for transubstantiate. Hello, Father. Hello, Mother. Can I help you? I, um... I hope so, Miss, uh... Miss Barrett. It's a miracle you knew I my name. I have an appointment with the, uh, uh, Bozo. the director of airport public relations. And, um, I'm not We're lying. going to arrange a field trip to the airport for my uh, boys at St. Charles. I don't care. Well, I'm sure they'll enjoy that. My, um, 
my problem is... I knew a woman so bad. I can't seem to find this gentleman's office. Uh, would you mind showing me where it is? Oh, of course not. It's just down the hall. Jeez, ever since Vatican II, these guys. Now, take it nice and easy. There's a New Testament in town. You know, all the church will do is move this guy to another parish. Get down this hall, past that guard. All right. Give me trouble, that guard's a dead man. What, old porno key? You know, when I said this field <laughs> trip was for my boys at St. Charles, I meant, uh, the choir. Improv, improv. It's not easy to, to get kids to practice these days. I'm constantly trying to find outside activities for them. Hi, Katie. Father. So why the gun, Father? Last month I took them to the zoo. Well, they hated it. They told me I wasn't a hip. <laughs> Let's head for that elevator. It seems that uh, the zoo isn't the in place for the 11 to 14 group. But basically, they're good kids. Full of mischief, but good hearted. Oh, well, it's God's work. And the best uh, choir in the diocese. Look, I'll go along with the hostage thing, but this constant banter. <laughs> Captain Kirk. Aren't we going down? Mr. Tyler. It's neat how they decorated the airport in sort of an airplane motif. Oh, Third level of hell, please. <laughs> Pretty cute for a priest, aren't I? What do you want? You'll find out. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have rubbed Purnell's toupee all over my naked body. You scared? You gonna cry, eh, baby? Huh? You do what I tell you to, you'll be all right. I'm beginning to doubt you're a priest. This is why they should let the priests marry. Now remember, we're husband and wife and... Do you have anything to do with Judas, priest? Choose wisely. Ah, you gotta get the fences back in the fall. They'll grow back real nice. Well, this is the shot they use for the album cover. Yeah. So, do the Jesuits carry guns, too? Alright, stop. Can I call you sometime? We're going over there. You're gonna get the keys to one of the airport cars. Uh -huh. If anyone says anything, you're boss told you to drive me to the other side of the field. You yeah. got that? I need more subtext. Good. Hmm. Let's go. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we take two cars and I'll just meet you there. I think I found something! Ow! Oh my god, we buried Andy! How are you? Not good. Premieres August 26th at 10pm here at Comedy Central. What's with a bib? It's not a bib. It's a napkin. Looks like a bib. No, you know, I don't want to get stuff all over me. Well, then why'd you get that Western Whopper? I mean, it's got bacon, cheddar, barbecue sauce. Because I refuse to live my life in fear. But you live your life in a bib. It's not a bib. It's not a bib. The Flame Broiled Whopper, now with cheddar cheese, hickory smoked bacon, and barbecue sauce. The Western Whopper, for a limited time at Burger King. See? Look at that. Works. What's that? That's breakfast. <laughs> You're Drew Bledsoe, aren't you? No, I'm, I'm not. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Very busy guy, very busy guy. I don't want to attract a crowd. I used to quarterback myself, too, over at the community community college. Basically the same game as you. When I was, like, the man. You should try that one. 245, black down! Had the same Nike turf trainer covered feet. Mm. Look, man. Mm. But you! He sees one. <laughs> Score! Six! I'm not Drew Bledsoe. Oh, yeah, mom's the word there, Nancy. What? The body can express everything and is beholding to nothing except truth. We're all aiming in the direction of a visionary named Alvin Ailey. If you come to see us, better bring a seatbelt with you. Our audiences rely on the American Express card all across the world. It's essential. American Express is welcome just about anywhere you find people on the move.
Chicago, 98. Phoenix, 110. Baltimore, 102. If you can't beat the heat, join it. Use lit charcoal instead of ice cubes in your root beer. Put a plastic bag over your head and stand in the back of the dry cleaners. Line the inside of your car with aluminum foil and head for the Mojave Desert. Comedy Central, we don't chafe. Powder ice for your infection. Corner Bill, ice for your infection. pull yourself together. You love doing Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher. A couple weeks rest and you'll be just fine. Yeah, and then you can get back to all those fabulous guests. While Bill gets some much needed rest, Politically Incorrect will be on a short sabbatical. So, P.I. has some special weeks lined up for you. This week, it's Leave Your Laugh Track at the Door on P.I. Weeknights at 11. Look, honey, I don't want to hurt you, but if I have to... His name is... That's about as menacing as Wally Cox. Mobile 7. Pull that car off the field immediately. Make a right turn at the next intersection and go straight back to the terminal. Is this Frank Davis? It is. Now get that car out of there. The car is not moving, Frank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this moment, I'm, uh, I'm holding a gun on a, on a Miss Katie Barrett. Unless you're doing oh, I love talk radio. She's handing you flowers. You're lying. How do I know you really got her? Hold her face up to the radio. Mm -hmm. Don't be stupid. Oh. Take a look. Recognize the dye job? What are you going to do, son? What am I supposed to do? Keep all traffic in the air and on the field normal. I'm, uh, I'm watching the field, and I know the routine, so, so don't try anything funny. Oh, bitch, I'm the hostage. In a few minutes, a cargo flight from Alaska will be landing. When he touches down, you tell him to go to the end of the runway and hold. Ooh. You got that? I've got it. I okay. can't wait till Reagan fires oh, uh, us. Remember, anybody starts toward this car, <laughs> this girl's in big trouble. That guy's one of the best lookers on in the business. Mm. Run up to the sun. Any problem? No, we're okay. He's on his final now. Okay. Jeez, what a mess. You go to Arby's a lot, don't you? This is overseas national 821 over the outer marker. Roger 821, clear to land. Toupee and Grave Weave, they're cops. It's the Elk River High School Marching Band. <laughs> I think those curly fries are good. To the end of the runway. Overseas National 821, taxi to the run of Matt at the end of runway 28 right and hold. So, see, I told you they'd do it. Give me a dollar. I remember when I scared those congressmen. <laughs> and he wins! So, did you get that Toma part? Looks like Dr. Zayas. He's even got the Dr. Zayas suit. Mm -hmm. Going to get my ball back. Oh, no. Ever done a Banachek clue? Mm -hmm. There's something wrong, Jim. There's no reason for him just to sit out there like that. Especially when he's got $3 million on board. Let's have a look. John Shuck ever call you? <laughs> Radio provided by Play School. And Dodge Coronets are there. What's that car doing? Oh, about 30, I guess. <laughs> mobile 4, Mobile 4. Where you are, please. Do you read? Don't your car, Bob. There's a guy dressed like a priest. Walks into a bar. They're after my toupee. You girl, and you should know it. Hey, don't just leave that thing in the middle of the intersection. Move that battleship. Uh, you're telling we're not moving. You're telling he's calling the shots. Oh, I like that. Keep it up. You may get this girl back. Alive. Oh, yeah, his cat is in there somewhere. 
So is that Haas guy pretty nice, or? Uh... Sir, um, uh, what did your bag look like? Sir, you can't just dump. Uh, oh. Bunch of pop-in machine head there. Dials, buttons, <laughs> switches. I'm gonna call through the switchboard operator. He won't hear it. TV movie pretty. Good, my laundry. Get a different shirt out of here. Yeah, operator. Operator, this is Hatton. Could you get me my office, please? Yes, sir. Oh, finally, my new checks. <laughs> Sergeant Doctor. Yeah, this is Hatton. Don't stop to ask me any questions. Why not? Yes, sir. Guy dressed like a priest holding Walks a gun. into a bar. Conrad's secretary in Mobile 7, right in front of the tower. I don't want you guys to lay a hand on him until you're sure she's safe. You got that? Yes, sir. <laughs> Rush albums! Woo! <laughs> this guy overpacked. I want you to cordon off the whole airport, that street side, field side, the whole airport. You let cars in, nothing out. I mean, absolutely nothing goes out till I pass the word. Peace. Didn't know international smuggling involved so much heavy lifting. Yeah. Uh, get in touch with San Mateo, and you tell the sheriff that we may call on him. You got that? We'll do. All right, and you keep his line open. Okay, bye. Click. Oh, man, another sack of hundreds. They just need change for a ten. Put me through to the fire department. Right. Hmm? Oh, that's always nice. Just steal the in-flight magazines. Send one of the trucks out as fast as you can to the northwest boundaries. There's a break in the fence. Block it. If only Paulus Doctrine were more liberal. <laughs> What's Cap doing with his hand? What's he doing? Nothing yet. Make a Tony Zerby's house. He's having a brunch. Those great brunches, too. Sounds like the Avengers are here. Crank it up, we're moving. He's moving. He's moving. I'm moving. All right, Duncan, he's heading for the terminal. You stay awake. Moving? Oh, that's my ring toe! Come on, come on, baby, let's roll. Uh, sir, this is contract parking. Do you have a... Oh, uh, uh, my head is spinning. It's all happening too fast. Jeez, baptism to get to, then a church social. It's a move. Frank, he's gone. Are you all right? Yes. I'm okay. I'll have to dock Security. you for this. It's Conrad. He's loose. We're on our way to the cargo liner. I guess you better slow that Mustang down. So we never have to work with Gregory Harrison, you know. Maybe if I'd just taken more hostages. And his ears are still ticking. Chain Link, Julie, Pete. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Ow. Now I got this covered. We did this on a long street. find somebody else to shoot. So what exactly did you do on the Ponderosa? Texaco guys. Do you see a priest around here anywhere in the past few minutes? No. Oh, we now want to get married. They've been evicted. Ah, my new hair pieces are in. <laughs> so, this is Denver's new baggage handling system, huh? Mm. Yep, it's a plane, all right. Yeah, boxes like these are real good when you're moving, you know? Like, wait. Scott, uh, forgive the interruption, but I'd yeah. like to know that somebody just robbed a cargo flight on the runway and close to $3 million. Just 
long and take a few minutes. I'll be right back. But I can't get a pulse. I'm dead. Did your kid get those new glasses? I just heard from security a few minutes ago. Dad? No comment. Dad? No one in the airport loves me. <laughs> a making of a terrorist. <laughs> the seas. Bex, the number one imported German beer. Hi, who's this? Uh, Mel. Mm, what are you thinking about, Mel? Something sweet. Mm, like what? Caramel. <laughs> Caramel's so different. What would you like to do with it? I'd uh, cover it with roasted peanuts. Mm, roasted peanuts and creamy caramel? Mmm, Mel. You're making me so hungry. What you want is a payday. Phew, that foot odor. I can't take it anymore. But can anything stop it? This will. New Odor Eaters in Soles. Now its powerful charcoal formula contains genuine Arm & Hammer baking soda. Look, foot odor is caused by sweaty acid. And now Odor Eaters actually neutralizes odor-causing acid. Shoals can't do that. Finally, no more foot odor. And I thought it was hopeless. Only new odor eaters in so stop foot odor with Arm & Hammer baking soda. Everyone has a future. Some have more to look forward to. Curtis Moore. Before he's 22, Curtis will travel around the world. Along the way, he'll become an electronics expert and be promoted three times before deciding to go on to college and become an engineer. Futures like this don't just happen. Today's military has over 200 career choices with the training, experience, and opportunities you want. Make it happen in the U.S. Armed Forces. Take the heat out of shaving with new Old Spice Soothing Gel. It'll cool the burn, soothe your skin, and it'll make your face feel great. Or call 1-800-PROVE-IT for a full refund. So try new Soothing Gel, because now you've got proof. Guaranteed. Popping with flavor more flavor than ever, and this fat too. You can't stop. The video music world, every star is there. You know, I can imagine you go to the observatory. You know, the uh, the astrologers at the observatory, and they're looking up into the sky, and they go, "What happened to the Pleiades?" And they're like, huh? "Well, oh my God, the sky's empty. Why? Oh, it must be video music awards night on MTV." You know, <laughs> then bing, you turn it on, and it's like, "Woo!" Two, high you No, know, like hyperspace. Press the button, and they're like, "Ding!" And all the stars go, "Woo!" You know, and that's exactly what the video music awards are. Press the button, bing. All the stars go boom, and there you are right in the middle of it. I like the awards! We've got the owner of the car on the telephone. He's positive the magazines aren't his. Okay, I'll get back to you if I need you. Well, the mail pouches are empty, so they got the money. Well, I don't know how. I got it. I mean, uh, that guy went over the fence. He wasn't carrying any $3 million with him. Hardly. And all we found in the car was old magazines. So where's the money? Duh, duh. You could close up this area in a matter of minutes, right? Right, sure. Yeah. All right, they get the money. But they probably know they can't get out of the area with it. So what do they do? They don't try. Hmm? I think better over here. They transfer that money right out there onto a box already on the plane. A box they had mailed earlier addressed to themselves. Yes. A box loaded with old magazines. They're going to have us a lot of hustlers. Here it is, Mobile 4. I read you, Bob. Have somebody weigh those magazines right now, please. Okay, hold on a minute. Now, Mumbles wants us to weigh magazines now. Will you be my daddy? 41 pounds. Okay. Hi. Can we look at your magazines? Box big enough to hold 41 pounds of magazines. Uh, that's gonna take a pretty sturdy box. Maybe even a wooden one. Who was shorter with firm thighs and tawny boots? Oh, Hickory Farm gift pack. Okay, enough with a significant Is that what you're look. Looking for? We'll know as soon as I get a postal inspector out here. Tonight on Postal Inspector. How will you know then? That's when we open the box. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. I love you, Plain. I'll pretend I'm fighting the Xylon Empire. That's perfectly normal. It's pretty and it likes me. <laughs> divorcing you know if I find your sunglasses will you love me all over the tarmac to impress dad. <laughs> God did that. Plane <gasps> looks like something you'd get out of a cereal box. Suddenly, I am Starbuck. I gotta get a hold of myself. I was on the 12th level of Dungeons and Dragons. Now there's blood on my knife. <laughs> Daggers from one commercial break <laughs> to another. Ooh, he's got palm olive hands. How could he have opened and closed a heavy crate like this so fast? He was only out there, what, in three or four minutes? Mm -hmm. Maybe this is your answer. Dummy screw. Well, they're challenged All things. No, no, crew. Give to daddy. Let me have that a minute. Here. Yeah. Excuse me, Mexican for lunch. It's the dummy screws. Hot, steamy hardware intrigue. They should just get Schneider to do this. Would you just open the... Pernell Roberts and Clue Gallagher, the new stars of Home Time. Yep, don't, I don't see any money, nothing there. No. <laughs> yeah, looks like we're drinking tonight. Woo! Now they have enough for a Streisand ticket. No, maybe not. Looks like two. How long does it take to cross into Mexico from El Paso? Maybe five minutes. Let's do it! Road trip! Woo! Not a bad setup. The box goes on to the next flight to El Paso, which they're booked to board as passengers. Three hours later, they claim their package at the El Paso air freight and head for the border. With three million in cash. Mm -hmm. Except we only have one flight to El Paso today. <gasps> and that was scheduled to leave before this arrived. Which explains Ross Edwards' mushy nose wheel and 223's delay. Ah. Well, normally, what would you do with a package of medical supplies like this marked urgent? Well, I'd put it on the next flight to El Paso. Well, that's just me, and though. And if I told you that Weston's 223 was delayed and hasn't left yet, I'd put it on that flight. Okay, take the money out, close it up, and have one of your men rush it over to 223. Thanks for the scene. You want to fill me in on what you guys are doing? Yeah. Uh, there are two T's in Hatton. Right, let's have it. Well, when I get back to my office, I'm going to get in touch with El Paso, and I'm going to have them pick up whoever calls for that package. Then I'm going to have them pick up Ross Edwards. I'll wait here and smirk. Give you a lift. Come on. I wish they were my wife and kid. Oh, he's been beamed in. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah. Stay check and Vanacek battle to save Kolsha. Oh, the Fisher Price Airport set. With Weebles. Oh, yes, my luggage. <laughs> Not a very busy day at San Francisco <laughs> International. Uh, 
I've been thinking of getting some of them bunny earmuffs. What about you? He's from the land of misfit toys. He's like a handsome rat. <laughs> <laughs> Serum, the new CD from Rush. Yep, my luggage. Yep. Take a hard look at what you married. Well, he's got a nice personality. Is that a new scarf? Man, this movie is fraught with meaningful looks. For Alive's is Andy Cap. I got one of these boarding things I'll just head on in. Then. I mean, how much do I really love my wife? I mean. <laughs> I'm Charles Lindbergh. Whee! Anyone seen a screwed up kid? Mom. I'm gonna love you less now, Davy. Kiss my dysfunctional butt, mother. Wait, I think my sunglasses are under the floor mats. <laughs> it's a mad, 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 mad world. Restore it. Child of a messy divorce on runway two. Red air coupe crossing the taxiway. Hold your position. Do you read? Oh, the occasional magazine, but... <laughs> Red air coupe. Do you read? Sometimes a book. I wouldn't consider myself a reader as such. I mean, there's a reader There's a kid flying. Well, shoot him down. August 26th at 10 p.m. here at Comedy Central. There's no rules. Whatever you can find or scrounge up, race it. You can put things in the wheels, you can have water balloons. So unsportsmanlike conduct is encouraged, I think. Encouraged and well appreciated amongst all the other races. All time. Oh, God. Oh, it's a crash. I'd have to say I'd consider soapbox racing most like Twister. You just got to bend yourself all around. That's like a safety routine right there. That's like a, a safety check. You get dumped at 40 miles per hour, they'll keep the skin on your legs. I had to abandon ship. Beyond the
99% of top athletes polled prefer more carbos. With 33% more carbos than Gatorade. It's Powerade. If this thing is broken, man, we're totally screwed. What? We're really screwed. I no, don't we're think it's fine. No, it's fine. What's that say? What's this elf destruct? There's no elves on the. There are smiles galore down here. Set sail with Exit 57. Paul, a Leo, but one cat who's not scared to get wet. Stephen. On deck, he's first mate. Below deck, he's first rate. Jody and Amy, inseparable, insatiable. Captain Mitch, climb aboard his vessel for the ride of your life. Five souls lost at sea. Exit 57, exclusively at Comedy Central. Smoking by pregnant women may result in fetal injury, premature birth, and low birth rate. See what I mean, man? It's so negative. Yeah, it could sound a bit more up. Accentuate the positive, man. Life's a drag. Watch Comedy Central. Are there any light planes up? Any, uh, any instructors in the training area? Ah, no, oh, too much oh. jet traffic. Anybody holding for takeoff? No. Jeez, maybe you should sit down for a minute. How much gas in mine? About half of it, I remember. All right, let's roll it out. Uh, sir, this is a highly experimental aircraft controlled by your mind. Uh, not a good idea. Do you have a question for my face? <laughs> this is Captain Edward speaking. I'm sorry for this delay, but the tower has asked us to ah, remain Helen Hayes. at the gate for a few minutes because of an emergency. Uh, they tell us a young boy is accidentally taken off in a small plane. Why well, some elves are transporting Nazis We're to the moon. to hold our positions until I can get the youngster down. We'll keep you informed. Thank you. Hey, Dave, why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Hey, how'd you get that drink so fast? Oh, come on, come on. It's Fergie running from the press. <laughs> You'll never catch me, coppers. Oh, drive up Claros, I'll get the net. David, he's up there. Get her in the car. That's right, honey, because he's the flying boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stay with me, Frank. I'm going to have to try to get that kid down myself. 860, you're clear to take it. Oh, come on, Pernell. You're in charge of the vending machine. <laughs> the turkey vultures are returning. The only reason that thing's still in the air is that some of those little ones pretty near fly themselves. I forgot to take my Dramamine. Mommy? This theme song is hard to hum. Man, back then everybody drove cross machines, didn't they? Save all my Kino cards. Find them and get them before they know what's happening. Yeah. This is the only picture Weston could find of Joan Edwards. It's taken at their Christmas party last year. She's the one in the bike dress. Wow! 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 Which put your signature on this? You put up the bail. Thanks a lot. My son really liked in San Francisco Thank International. You. Mr. Woodruff. Feeding time. I'm not gonna forget this ever. And you haven't heard the last of this either. Wait till we go to series. These damn subplots keep washing ashore. Oh, wow. He's got Pablo Casals in the back seat. He's very John Shaconian here. <laughs> Tonight on Eyewitness News. Missiles locked on, ready to terminate. Davey, all those people down there are getting divorced because of you. <laughs> uh, Davey, climb out. We're, we're going to switch planes, okay? I'm so high. Sucker. We're gonna die down there.
there. He wants me to do karaoke. Uh, uh, oh. mm. No, no, too dumb. No. Eat it. It's good. Ah, forget it, you little. Frank, get a hold of the air coupe owner and find out what the radio's mounted. Stand by, Jim. I've got the owner on the phone now. He wants to know where the radio is. Uh, it's at my aunt's house. Okay, I've got it. What frequency do you keep it to? I'm betting he goes down in Sausalito. Thanks. Stay where you are, will you? We may need you again. Right. Do you read, Jim? Roger. It's behind the right-hand seat. It keeps it tuned to tower frequency. Got it. How do I get rid of the piece now? Do 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 do. It's my. Uh... Wasn't he the little girl in the cow sills? <laughs> Stuff. Help me. Okay, Jimmy. I'm gonna shave my back. <laughs> Durhey, a little. Can you hear me, son? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Okay, good. That's half the battle. Now, what's your name? Davy. Davy Scott. Hi, uh, Davy. This is Jim Conrad. The last man you'll ever talk to. Uh, Davey, I need to know where your dental right. records are. All we gotta do is get you back to that airport and on the ground. Yes, sir, I know. Now you just pay attention. Do what I tell you. And we'll log her into the we'll bed. Okay. We got one thing going for us. Me. <laughs> That's the easiest plane to fly ever made. Simple, like a car. Okay. Turn the wheel left to go left. Oh. Right to go right. <laughs> the hokey it down, pokey. Push the wheel forward. Oh. Pull it back to go up. Pull the now yeah. have you got that? Yes, sir, I understand. I'm a car, and left the plane to go is... left, right to go right, forward down, pull back to go up. Okay. Now that's the older model. You're flying the new one, which is really complicated. Now, just for the hell of it, let's go under the bridge, okay? All right, Davey. Try to stay loose and do just what I tell you. And, of course, say your prayers. Now just try to keep your wings parallel to the horizon. No, don't do that! Oh, God! Just kidding. That's a little <laughs> test there. people down there? Those are the people you've disappointed, Davey. Now, let's try a gentle turn to the right. Okay. Okay, with, with the now plane, the Davey. To the right. Just a little. Easy, pal. Now we're going to guide you into some power lines. Great. Now just try to keep your wings parallel to the horizon. Now pretend you're Buddy Hackett and Mickey Rooney. Now, Where's the bobbit bag? If you want to die. Right there. Okay, well, there you go. I'm going to split off here, Davey. Oh, and uh, Davey, when you die, there's only a dark nothingness awaiting you. or something. We're going to bomb that battleship back there. Oh, Davey, if you like vegetarian, there's a restaurant right down there. Great vegetarian Sir, food. I'm losing control of the uh, Real reasonable, too. Good boy, Dave. You're doing fine. Now, the faces of those you've wronged will be floating up on your left. Now we got to get ready to set her down. You know where the throttle is? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what I tell you to, I want you to pull it halfway out. No, no, the throttle. Then just as we touch the ground, all the way out. And wiggle can it. Remember that. Sure, I can do it. Good. Now there's one more thing I want you to remember. The 
a bad and evil person. I want you to cut the engine right after you pull the throttle. You're watching Mystery Science Theater 3000 at Comedy Central. Had to see a classic episode of Saturday Night Live. This program is brought to you by Gatorade. You ever hear anyone talk about life? Like you gotta chew it up and spit it out? You gotta want it so bad, you can taste it. You gotta be hungry. If so, Gatorade has one question for you. You want something to drink with that? Because you're gonna be thirsty. Life is a sport. Drink it up. May I take your order, sir? Indeed you may. This morning I succumb to the pleasures of McDonald's bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit extra value meal. Ah, yes. A bounty of tender bacon, a gently fluffed and folded egg. The reassurance of golden melted cheese with crispy hash browns and a small fresh brewed coffee. Well done, lads. A bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit extra value meal worthy of the name Bob. Have you had your break Bob. today? those fashionable copper rivets. Stop doing those crazy diets. Just follow my plan. Go, you don't baby. have to starve yourself. Go, you don't baby. Have to you gotta bring it in where you wanna go. Just four short hours a day and you'll look like me. If you Come wanna on. be a star like me, I Aren't you tired of all the hype and fitness fads? Well, turn off the hype and turn to a name you can trust, Nordic Track. Nordic Track isn't a fitness fad. It's the proven leader in home fitness for 19 years. And it's known as the world's best aerobic exerciser. Unlike other exercisers, Nordic Track gives you a total body workout that emphasizes all the major muscle groups. A more effective workout that raises your metabolism fast and burns more calories. In fact, after five years, seven out of 10 people still use their Nordic Track regularly. So you make the choice, hype, hot air, empty promises, or Nordic Track. Don't settle for less than America's best. Call now for your free video and brochure. Get your log sheet out. Just hold that wheel real gentle. Now keep going until you run out of gas. Try to line up on the center of the runway. Now, I'm going to let you do this first. I'm not really sure what to do after this. Baby, you're going to meet a man in a black robe wanting to play chess with you.
obviously have no desire to land, baby. Now, yank that throttle out, Dave. All the way, all the way out, Dave. Before you do that. Good day, we're down. Now, let's try that again. Well, we're stuck with him. I never get to see anyone die. Northwest 31, you're clear to land. Northwest 31. Get a crew out there to move those planes off the runway, please. Is caning legal in this country? <laughs> Cornell's got a built-in grimace. I did it for Jody Foster. Hi, Davey. Can you give me a lift? Ah, ah, okay. It's Satan. I'm in hell. <laughs> No, people are going to hate you for quite a while, Davey. Davey, let me introduce you to these federal agents. They are what you young people call bad asses. I'll get these planes out the runway as soon as you can. Davey, get in the car. Uh, by the way, sir, Lloyd Bridges is replacing you when we go to series. I don't want to know. Here's your script. You'll be playing black woman on plane. Oh, I clogged it up pretty bad back there. Blue liquid is flying all over the floor. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> well, sir, you almost didn't make it. I know. <laughs> you can stow that right up there. Oh, thank Pardon you. Me. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. Dressed up as Ellery <laughs> Queen. <laughs> thank you. Oh, did you see that? The way they helped that boy down. I tell you. Oh, this. you're under. Yeah, that boy will never forget. Never. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. As long as I got him down safely, I don't mind telling you it would break for me. Because if it hadn't been for this delay, I'd have never made this flight. And if I'm not in El Paso... Oh, I'm sorry, tonight. sir. You have to place your briefcase on the floor under here. Oh, so the Ruskies run this plane, eh? Two words, kid. Foster home. It's like a dense smug mm. rolling in. Welcome <laughs> home, traveler. I'm glad to see you made it. Yeah, I think she means it. Oh, elsewhere at the airport, Clue and Tab are hugging. <laughs> <laughs> this changes nothing, son. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, you hold him, we'll punch don't him. Don't try. I'm sorry for what Davy did. And I can assure you we'll make certain it never happens again. Well, now look, I am. Uh... I'm not so sure we should blame Dave. I mean, he's, what, 13, 14? But we'll try him as I'm an adult. I'd be inclined to blame the people who didn't have enough time to keep track on him. Ah, yeah, well, I'll be sure and let those people know. The, the dogs told me to do it. Does this flight mean I'm officially solo? Oh, no. No, I don't think I tried to lock that one, Dave. As a matter of fact, if you make another unauthorized flight, you'll never get your license. Now, we don't want that to happen, now, do we? Yes, yes we, we do. do. No. Which belt should I use? Well, goodbye. Good luck. Good so long, pal. Did you see the toupee on that I guy? know, I know. Wow. I still got it. Excuse me, uh, you're under arrest. Uh, just going to take you to the federal building here. Let's never have kids, honey. Uh, the unauthorized flight has really brought this family together. Mr. Scott, it was closed, but we managed to get them off just before they buttoned up the plane. Can I give you any help? No, sir. We want to do this ourselves. <laughs> here, Mom, carry these. <laughs> do it! <laughs> yeah, we don't need a tip back here or anything. That's fine. Has gone down in flames. Ditch him at the gate. <laughs> Oh, 
Wait, how come he's not in jail? Yep, yep, they were going to make me God, but I was too good looking. <laughs> hey, where was Evans through all of this? Oh, wow, I forgot to tell you. He was called to town for an urgent meeting of the airport commission. Oh, it takes a meeting of the whole commission just to write out my pink slip? <laughs> well, not this time, apparently. They told him to bring a cost breakdown for the proposed new runway. <gasps> Seems Senator Whitman likes men who are willing to take a stand. Oh, great. Yes, they're, they're going to get, get the new yes. runway. Yes, uh, yes. I must send out a call to find out where you were. You drove right onto the concourse. Well, what do we got here? Uh, I think they call themselves the El Paso Medical Forwarders. Is that all of them? Ah, that's three out of three. Western Airlines yeah. announces departure Sequel tab, of it. Its exploration of the inherent conflict between order and creativity was both flawed and perfunctory. A mere pastiche. Mm. And yet I do feel it managed to convey one profoundly enduring idea. Oh, what's that? David Hartman is an ugly, ugly man. Oh, yeah! yeah. Right. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, Let me tell you. Oh, oh. Excuse me, but I found that last remark really uncalled for. The very idea of judging a person by their physical appearance. I mean, really. Oh, my, Mr. Sensitive. Well, I suppose he has a point. And anyway, you know, we got a couple of letters to read oh, here. Oh, boy. So, uh, hey, Tom, why don't you read the first one? Well, I'd love to. Let's see what we have here. Oh, from David Williams. It's right there on his letterhead. <laughs> Crayola letterhead. Dear Satellite of Love, you know I had a dream about you. <laughs> he had an awesome dream. A la That's, Lionel yeah, Richie. Yeah, we just read the letter. Uh, okay. Tom Servo, Crow, Gypsy, Cambot, all of you guys are funny. <laughs> Notice he didn't mention Mike. Well, I guess I'm not funny. Sorry. I guess I'm not funny. <laughs> uh, get back to Earth soon. Thank you very much. We'd love to make more robots in the future. No, Ready? no, no, no. Definitely. Uh, Your I friend can't. David W. P.S. I'm nine. It's good information to know. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. we all feel nine. And David. put the Me picture oh, up nice. on Still Store there. Oh, he's a cute Look little guy. Look at nine, yeah. huh? Oh, and it says for Gypsy Scrapbook. Well, isn't that cute? So we'll have to make her one. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have one more letter. This is okay. from Rob Myers. And uh, he says, Dear Satellite of Love, I was flipping through the local paper last uh -huh. week and came upon a photo of some ancient hieroglyphs. <gasps> wow. I was shocked to discover that one of the figures bore an uncanny resemblance to Crow. Look at that. that. Put hey, that look up at on that. Bill's <laughs> <store> there. <laughs> <laughs> so you were Farouk <laughs> El, El Crow Robotus or something like yes. that? Yes. <laughs> that no doesn't idea. surprise me at all. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, thanks for that yeah. nice picture. Mm -hmm. And Tom, why don't you uh, give him the address so they okay. can write it, you know, send Send uh, any inflammation you might have to the Mystery Science Theater. Information Club, Post Office Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota 55343. And uh, say, Clayton, um, can I ask, is there something unusual about your ears? <laughs> my ears? No, there's nothing unusual about my ears. Why do you ask? <sighs> well, I don't know. Maybe it's my imagination, but they do kind of look sort of a little, maybe, well, <laughs> large. <laughs> <laughs> Large? What do you mean, large? 
quote, ears have a tendency to grow slightly as one ages, but it's perfectly normal and hardly noticeable. Large. Ha ha! Frank, be a dear and uh, push the button, will you? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear that. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha episode of